How do the styles of these two fighters really match up? If you saw the title of this video, you know I'm talking about the pound for pound best fighters in the world, Islam Mankachev and Alexander Volkanovsky. I'm going to be breaking down a couple of their last fights and adjustments both guys could make to potentially win this main event fight coming up February 11th at UFC 284. Alexander the Great Volkanovsky going for double champ status, well deserved shot, going for the lightweight title, already has the featherweight title. Islam Makachev, fresh champion. No title defenses yet, so he's going straight for number one pound for pound for his first one. It is a weight class down, but I mean, it's Alexander Volkanovsky. A lot of people are saying he's going to be weaker this fight. He says he's eating 4,000 calories a day. In my opinion, he's going to have to cut weight at the end of it, and uh, we might see a shredded Volkanovsky out there at 155. Volkanovsky's strength is not to be disregarded. If you're going to disregard anything, strength is the last thing you should disregard. Nothing is stronger than a fat man who became skinny. This man was over 200 pounds at one point. He used to play frontline in rugby. He's fought at welterweight. You know, he's back down to 145 and he has made a statement in the UFC. Has not lost in 22 fights. The man is on a 22 fight win streak. Unbelievable. Islam Makhachev is on 11 fight win streak. He got caught second fight in the UFC with a perfect southpaw overhand right. Alexander Volkanovsky is a disrespectfully low underdog at plus 320. If you think that's fair, watch the rest of this video because you might just change your mind. When it comes to body composition, Islam stands four inches taller than Volkanovsky at 510. But Alex has the reach advantage by just an inch at 71.5 inches. When it comes to experience in the octagon, both fighters are pretty impressive when it comes to record. Islam Makachev with 24 fights, Alexander Volkanovsky with 26, both fighters only one loss. It's going to be a close fight. I think it's important to note, even though Alexander Volkanovsky has five title fights and Islam only has one, before MMA, Alexander Volkanovsky was a rugby player. Islam Makachev has been training combat sambo with Khabib since he was a small child. So overall experience, Islam definitely has the upper hand, but Alexander Volkanovsky has fought way higher competition. He's fought who a lot of people consider to be the featherweight goat, Max Holloway, three different times and beat him three different times. Look at all the submissions he got caught in by T-City and he got out of all of them. Now I'm not saying that if Islam catches him in a submission, he's going to be able to get out of it. It's a higher weight class. Islam is already big for the weight class. But Volkanovsky also has never been submitted, so I wouldn't count him out. Alexander Volkanovsky has a total of 12 fights in the UFC. A lot of people don't know this, but he made his debut at lightweight. He was back in 2016 against Japanese fighter Yasuki Kasuya. This was a super impressive performance. Alexander Volkanovsky looked way stronger than this guy. Volkanovski took him down in the first, got swept once, got a sweep of his own, and then finished the round so dominantly that it looked like one of his cornermen got confused and went to go celebrate Alex's victory of the first round. Alex comes in in the second, just beats him up on the feet. He gets a beautiful takedown. Yasuki was going for one of the mini leg lock attempts that he threw up throughout the two rounds, and Volkanovski made him pay with some brutal ground and pound to finish the fight. What comes with five title defenses is a lot of tough competition. Featherweight is one of the most stacked divisions in the UFC. Since Islam only has one title fight, Alex has the edge when it comes to the level of competition. But to be fair, Islam has fought the heavier competition. Alexander Volkanovsky has been fighting at 145. Now, if we're talking just strictly stand-up and grappling, obviously Islam has the advantage on the ground. Islam has 11 submissions throughout his professional career. But the two most notable is the Kimura over Dan Hooker and the head and arm choke over Charles Oliveira. When it comes to stand-up, Alexander Volkanovsky is almost perfect. He usually never comes out of orthodox, but he has so many weapons. In Islam's last fight against Charles Oliveira, he threw straight left, right hook from southpaw maybe eight times. I'm pretty sure that's what he opened the fight with and it's definitely what he ended it with when he knocked Charles Oliveira down and then got the head and arm. I'd say Volkanovski's best bet at winning this fight is finishing it early on the feet. Alexander Volkanovski has a 73% takedown defense 
but I don't think that's going to be enough to defend against Islam Makachev. Islam Makachev is just simply taller. He's going to have way more leverage when it comes to grappling. In my opinion, this is one of those fights where it really depends on the training camp. We've seen a lot from Volkanovski. He's posted some on his YouTube channel. It seems like he spent most of his training camp at Bangtan Muay Thai and MMA gym in Thailand, but now he's back in Australia and he's training at Freestyle Fight Gym with Craig Jones. So you can expect his jujitsu and grappling game to be up a little bit, but we don't really know if it's going to be enough yet. I think we're going to see a lot of improvements from both guys. I'm curious how Islam is going to do without Khabib in his corner. If you guys don't know, Khabib retired not only from MMA, but also coaching. Islam said Khabib is still kind of helping from the sidelines, but we don't know how much that really is, and he's not going to have him in the corner. He's fought a couple times without him in the past, but what do you guys think? If you want to help me out, make sure you leave a like on this video, share with a few buddies that are thinking about betting on this fight, make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more breakdowns in the future. Leave a comment sharing your thoughts or any points I might have missed, and I'll see you guys next time.